So to create a free business email, you basically need two very important things, a domain name and a Gmail account. And that's because I'm going to walk you through how to set up your business email for your domain name in just a few clicks. Then we'll see how to link your business email with your Gmail account so you can send and receive emails from Gmail. And finally, I'm going to show you how to prevent your emails from going to the spam folder. So without further ado, let's get started. First, googlepawnhoster.com. It's a free hosting solution to build your website without any cost. But for this tutorial, we're going to use Pawnhoster to set up our free business email. And to do that, you should first create an account, then order the Pawn Hosting package, and ensure that your domain name is fully propagated with our name servers. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial, I recommend watching this video where I explain almost everything you need to know. Now I'm going to log into my account and access the cPanel. Select email accounts, and now let's create a new business email. For the username, I've already asked ChatGPT to provide me with 10 business email examples. So I'll select the first one, contact at maloffers.store. Then I'll generate a new password for my email account. Next, click on Edit Settings, where you can customize the storage space you want. So I'll allocate 10 gigabytes and hit Create. So our business email account has been successfully created within just a few minutes. Let's open our webmail for now. So you will receive a welcome message in your inbox containing the configuration settings needed we'll use later to connect our webmail with Gmail. Now before moving forward, you have to check your email deliverability status. And as you can see, it's valid because our DKIM, SPF, and PTR records are properly configured for our domain. So basically, this configuration is done automatically in your account, so you won't have to deal with technical troubleshooting. Now for our next step, let's send a test email to check our delivery score using this free online tool, mailtester.com. So I'll copy this recipient email address and paste it here. For the subject, I'll write email testing. And for our message, I'll start with hello. I'm testing this business email for the first time. Best regards. Then hit send. Now let's check our score. So we've received a score of 9 out of 10, which is perfect for starting to send emails. But let's explore first how we can receive our emails directly in our Gmail account. So within our cPanel, there's a feature called Forwarders that allows you to automatically forward emails to any desired email address without any restrictions. So let's set up a new forwarder. For the address to forward, enter the username of your business email. In my case, it's contact. For destination, specify the Gmail address where you want to receive forwarded emails. And click Add Forwarder. Now that we can receive emails in our Gmail account, let's ensure we can also send emails from Gmail. And to enable this, we'll need to connect our webmail with Gmail. So go to your Gmail account and come up to Settings, click See All Settings. Then you want to come to Accounts and Import. And as you can read, use Gmail to send from your other email addresses. So we'll link our webmail from here. Let's begin by adding our business name and email address, then click Next Step. Next, we'll need to add our SMTP configuration settings. So go back to the list of email accounts in your cPanel and open Connect Devices. You'll notice that the SMTP server and port are already filled in. Now simply input the username and password of your business email address then click Add Account. Next, we need to confirm our email address. Now that we've added our business email to our Gmail account, we can set it as the default if desired. And to test it, let's send a new message from Gmail. You'll see that we can select the email address we want to use to send the message. So I'll send a test email with a random subject and message to demonstrate. As you can see, the email is sent from contact at maloffers.store. However, if we check the delivery, our message will likely end up in the spam folder. 
So I'm going to explain why this happens and how to prevent it. So even if we achieve a higher score in email deliverability testing and correctly configure email authentication settings, there are several other reasons why your emails might still end up in the spam folder, such as IP address reputation and user engagement. If the IP address used by the sender has been flagged for sending spam in the past, emails from that sender are more likely to be marked as spam. User engagement is also important. If recipients frequently mark emails from a sender as not spam and actively engage with their emails by opening and clicking, future emails from that sender are more likely to land in the main inbox. This is a strategy I've used in my previous video where I encouraged viewers to report my emails as not spam to improve engagement. And speaking of engagement, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're a new member of our community.